Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I come along to see the law. We are learning sex card in the streets. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, in my streets. Anyways, welcome back, guys. I know I've been gone for a while, but um, you know, <laughs> I'm back now. That's all that matters, right? And welcome back um, to people that have been here before. And welcome to everyone that's seeing this for the first time, that's seeing my face for the first time. I am Sikelelwa and I'm hoping to create a space that people can see themselves in, that they can feel safe, that they can, um, you know, just have your guard down and hope you enjoy it. So, first things first, life has been <laughs> lifing as usual and obviously it gets worse. COVID uh, constantly just testing us and seeing us hurry. Where are we in this life thing exactly? It's almost like some jar of hell, hurry. But it's fine. We're still standing and trying to see it through, my boy, because <laughs> not like we've got a savior, you know. Uh, I do always say that no one is coming to save you, you're on your own, so get with it yeah but anyways we're not here for that one and we're not here for my pumping of self when i'm trying to figure life out i'm back and i'm back and i'm better <laughs> anyways okay. i digress my bad a lot has happened obviously in the couple of months that i've been absent um a lot of figuring out a lot of light a lot of seeing growth and to a certain extent and a lot of lessons um and a learning you know in, in in my finding of self you know within those blessings um and of course <laughs> i don't think you guys have to wait soon to find what i'm talking about so keep it glued um yeah so i've been happy for the most part uh, i've been okay for the most part and i know i may seem like i'm out of breath or like keep easy i'm standing today because i want to give you guys the energy that i want to come through with uh, or the energy i'm on right now yeah and i want to chill for this one i want to stand and i want to make it sweet and short because i've been gone for so long you know so the least i can do is make sure that i do a young quick one so in my back and being better there's a new baby i like oh, you know what this thing of me saying things out, I think it will sort of get me to commit and whatnot, but I don't want you guys getting shocked when you see what's happening on this here journey on YouTube. Um, when I bring out something new and you're like, uh, okay, we didn't know about that one. So I'd like to involve you guys in this process that I'm about to partake in. Um, so I've realized that I love food, <laughs> like everybody else, I guess, or I assume. Um, and in my loving of food, I also have a fitness or health journey that I'm about to go on or that I am constantly trying to keep light of considering uh, my body is my instrument and I'd like to look a consistent way than not, you know, um, and I'd like to still fit in my clothes because money guys, money, yes. So with that being said. I've decided that I want to be in the kitchen more. I'm not saying I'm a chef now, no, no. But I just like him. I just like rather. <laughs> I just like the process of being involved in what I eat and seeing the process, you know, because we are so always, you know, keen on let me order. Eva eat, let's get that pizza, let's get that whatnot. Yeah, but I do you know the person behind you know, the person that's making the food, what mood they're in, what they're doing, or how they feel, what they, like, you know what I mean? Like, how was home before they got to work? Is work a great environment for them? Are they in a good space? Is they making the food? What's their intention behind making the food? All of that. And these are all recent learnings also about, you know, what it is that we put in our bodies. But one thing I've always known is that whatever you put in now, as much as it may not show now, it will give you later uh, results, you know. So I'm saying eating meat for all your life, <clears throat> you're bound to get some diseases and illnesses at some point. You know what I mean? Um, this is me now 
also being aware that our bodies are different and our bodies uh, seek different things um so for me uh, my blood type is a positive and it means less red meat in fact no red meat yes so i should be you know chopping around your fishies your chicken breasts you know your white meat uh, and veggies a lot of veggies uh, and of course this is hard to do as a Kosa person first of all uh, or coming from a Kosa home or this has been rather uh, something that i've never even thought of growing up in a Kosa home because meet Kosa's <laughs> whatsapp group you want so yeah but in my growing up obviously and getting into different spaces and learning more about things and food and what it is that i am a positive that is um i've had to sort of slowly get into the journey of taking care of my body so that it can take care of me um and i know that i've seen things at a, little, at, at a later point in people's lives or in the elders around me in my life and um, that diseases are a thing or little illnesses are a thing you know you don't want anything to do with your heart you know gout you know a high blood all of that um those are situations that we find ourselves in when we don't take care of ourselves now and then later on in our lives we're like how did i get here but you know you've been doing it in your kitchen or like i it out you know what i mean so that's a journey i'm on right now um and i do want to take you guys along with it or along with me it might be it, it it should rather not even might be it should be bigger than what i make it to be yeah. i want it to be bigger than what i make it to be right now so at its core i want us to be involved in it or at its growth and its foundation i want us to be together so do you expect young reels you know young videos that won't necessarily be like a hectic length um compared to our usual where i just like you know let you guys in on what it is that i ate this week or i ate this day um yeah you know because that's where i'm trying to go right now um I'm trying to like really work on me and what i eat and what i put inside me in hopes that it should show i've been struggling <laughs> my face guys you know you you know i come here with my soul out bearing the person that i am so in the past couple of months i've been battling skin issues and if you have been around like since um you know beginning which is like a year ago <laughs> right it should be a year ago it should be a year ago that's not if i can to go back and check to make sure because i don't want to get emotional so. Anyways, yes, so if you guys have been with me since yeah, the journey started, um I had really really clear skin. Um I was the girl I thought I was, you know. Makeup was not a thing. Who me? Makeup. Ha. Huh? I'll see makeup at work. Not just in jail because why the reason no. Oh. Left this year was like, "Oh really? Oh really? Yeah. You think so?" And I found myself with a hectic, okay, not a hectic, you know, but from clear skin to, you know, it feels hectic. I still am going through quite a bit, but it's getting better. And imagine putting on makeup and being on screen while you're going through like skin. Oh my God. Anyways, yes, so I've been going through quite a bit with my skin. Um, so I'm also on that journey. And as much as I won't admit it or I won't say that holistically it is the reason, but it has a lot to do with why I haven't been on this year platform because it started getting to, you know, my confidence, my heart, like even going out, you know, like going outside as in stepping out of my house or like my place, it's a thing, you know, but oh shit, no, should I just cover up a bit? Should I put on a bit of foundation just to, you know, seem a little so those have been battles and i've never had that like my entire life i never had acne uh, in my pubic hair puberty ha embarrass embarrass you in front of people 
I'm so embezzled. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, so in my puberty years, never had that acne stage. <sighs> and now I am going through it. But um, I'm thankful for people that God has deposited in my life. They keep supporting me on this journey. And of course, I've been freaking out. Like, I've, I've been using different things, you know? If this doesn't work in a week, I'm good. And of course, I know my skin uh, skincare experts will be like, "All right, guys." But now I sort of settled down, and I'm using a specific routine now that's less harsh on my skin. Um, and of course. I'm also gonna keep you guys in the loop with how that goes, but I don't want to make this video longer than it is um, Yeah, I do hope that you guys have been good and that you guys have been keeping safe Firstly and that you've been wearing your mask sanitizing. I know we're living in a very weird country right now South Africa is not like working with us. Our government is not working with us, but And <sighs> to me that we have to cooperate to make you know our lives better for ourselves because clearly some people are not in the part you know what i mean so almost help yourself stay home if you can stay home if you can work from home or you can study from home please do that because well oh, it's a lot but where are we remo location yeah it's here so we have to keep it locked and calm about it for us i do know that it's very hard as actors and actresses and crew members and filmmakers in general to work from home like it's ridiculous you know it's like how am i going to shoot with other people at home like make it make sense please so there's those you know so if you can if you have been granted the privilege to have a profession that allows you or an occupation that allows you to work from home please do it please do it but anyways please take care of your mental health also in this time first i mean i get it this thing hits our pockets it hits our jobs it's that's the sad part about it and people are losing people and now it stops being a thing of yeah it's 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 as it has come closer you know it, it gets personal each and every day when the person that you really fucks with, excuse my language, will have someone that that have passed on in their life. So let's just try and get out there and be gentle to each other. Whatever we put out on social media, be considerate. Um, take as much time as you need to be with yourself and to be with your family, to be with whoever that is family to you. You know, be alone if you need to be, you know, um, take care of you, like put yourself first. This time is asking you to be selfish, if anything, you know. So I do support that and I do hope that you're constantly seeking light because also willowing in the darkness won't help us. Being sad, being, yes, your feelings are very valid and it's okay to feel all of them, you know, and not try to always be on the bright side, I mean. I'll tell you half the things I'm saying right now, I'm preaching to myself, but great, at least there's a platform to do it. Being okay all the time is a myth because life is not always giving you sweet things. There's sometimes consistent lemons that require us to make lemonade, so please just let's face up and face the world, you know, smile. Mm. Smile. And keep it together smile and wave darling smile and wave is a theme while you are busy doing some stuff i just want to say thank you so so much for watching this video thank you for still being with me thank you for all your loyalty like honestly speaking it's humbling and uh, you guys are the ones that make me come back to this platform um that keep reminding me for it um don't you have a youtube video youtube channel at some point in your life yeah so I really, really appreciate you guys being here. And I do hope that anybody that's new today, I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you stayed this far. And if you like that you saw today, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and again, your comments are always 
always welcome because they pump the blood inside me to keep coming back and of course we pray for more consistency and more light you know in terms of bringing forth the energies that need to be brought forth and um may god bless you guys may god grow you may he expand the territories you walk on and the desires uh, that you seek be fulfilled and from your girl six six god in the streets sick and love you i say goodbye next time we shall see each other please don't forget to do the right thing subscribe like and comment see you guys in the next video